Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video is about Ghana. Yes, it's about Ghana. I was looking for something, doing a bit of research. I came across this news and I said, hey, what is going on? And I never thought on some of this news online, there's a comment section. So it's this comment section that makes me to react on this video. Yes, this article says that Nana Akufo Adu has called for ECOWAS standby. And I was thinking, ECOWAS standby, this happened when Niger took over, when the coup leader took over. So ECOWAS standby for what? So I started reading it. And it says that President Nana Akufo Adu Dakwa has stressed the urge need for the economic community of West Africa force to highlight its crucial role in protecting the regional stability and security. He argued that a dedicated ECOWAS standby force will significantly help address the rising wave of military coups in west africa i was like hey <laughs> is it because it's election time i thought you are going in december and you said you don't care anymore so all the security uh, all these terrorists that have been terrorizing west africa for all these years now it's now that you want ECOWAS to stand by to stop who I don't understand it. So I keep reading. Speaking at the opening of the second Africa Security Conference, this uh, article is only nine hours ago. So I need to look for the video. Anyway, speaking at opening of second Africa Security Conference and exhibition in Accra, he expressed his firm belief that such a force is not only essential but long overdue i agree with you nana it's long overdue but according to him the presence of this force will serve as powerful deterrent to those who attempt to destabilize the region through through all constitutional action and those who fuel violence to terrorism and insurgents so then he said, I had no doubt had it been in existence earlier, it would have served as a deterrent to the manipulate. I don't understand this part. I have no doubt that had it been existence, if ECOWAS is in existence, or I don't know what he's trying to say here, earlier it will have served as a deterrent to the multiplicity of coups and the spread of terrorism he said so he's talking about coup and he's talking about terrorists which is which because these two things are different altogether terrorists and coup the establishment of this force is essential for maintaining regional stability and security it will enable ECOWAS to respond swiftly and effectively to threats, uphold democratic governance, and promote peace across West Africa. What about stopping hungry across Africa? What about stopping corruption across Africa? And what about stopping terrorists across Africa? Because to me, terrorists and coup. Is the two different things. Terrorists is crime. Coup is because of bad governance. So he has to tackle bad governance first, corruption, quench hunger in Africa, and then talk about the rest. President Akufo Addo comment come amend growing concern about West Africa political and security landscape a resurgence of military coups often driven by political dissatisfaction and economic hardship the economic hardship need to be faced 
I don't know if I'm going to edit this video or put it out as it is because this development has sparked fears about the future of democracy in the region. Wow. I still don't get him. Because they eat democracy, drink democracy, wear democracy. So yeah, this development has sparked fears about the future of democracy in the region. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the ongoing threat of terrorism and insurgents, particularly in the countries like Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, have further intensified the region's security challenges. President Addo stated that if standby force had been operational earlier, it could have played a key role in preventing the series of multiple coups that have erupted several West Africa countries. He's talking about <laughs> Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, of course. As we all know, he noted that at the most recent ECOWA summit, leaders agreed to expedite the formation of this force to tackle these challenges head on. So ECOWAS is going to have standby military. Okay, we know that is France and America. Yes, noted. The ECOWAS authority agreed to bring the ECOWAS standby force into being as soon as possible. Well, maybe because the election, they will do it before the election time, yeah, as soon as possible. <laughs> He, he stressed the importance of swift action in securing a stable and democratic future for the West Africa. I heard a rumor that there was a coup attempt in Ghana um, early this month, but I didn't pay attention. So one of our brothers, uh, Joseph Boatin, instead of calling for good governors, judicious use of Africa resources for the benefit of the people and education in corruption, we are interested in standby force to continue to protect these broadly Africa resources. Mm. There's a flag there. I don't know what that means. So another brother, Davido or Davido, who is going to pay for these forces? Then he said, I guess foreign artists with vetoed interest. Yes, of course, govern the nations well and with the people at heart, and you will not worry about coups. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Families, that's all the two comments that I've seen. <laughs> this is the first time I've come across something like this, though. It's interesting. We learn every day. I've learned something. And it can play a voice for you as well. But I don't know if I'll get a copyright. Listen a bit. Just quick seconds. A Kufuato calls for ECOWA standby force to curb coups and restore regional stability. My joy online. President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufuado has stressed the urgent need for the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, to establish a standby force, highlighting its crucial role in protecting the region's stability and security. He argued that a dedicated ECOWAS standby force would significantly help address the rising wave of military coups and unconstitutional changes in government that have recently destabilized the West African subregion. I'll end it there in case they come for me. Families, this is unexpected, but I want to share it with you. Thank you so, so much. Please leave comments. I have seen a video about some of the ECOWAS delegates or Nigerian military leaders who said they eat democracy, sleep with democracy. They have nothing to do with school leaders. I have seen some of them in Mali or Niger. I'm not particularly sure. They were speaking in Awusa. I understand a bit, but I want to know every details before I share with you. So, yes, they went there talking about a lot of things. As we know, I already have a video. 
so I know why they were there. YouTube will not allow me. I will risk it. Maybe post it. It's about two weeks old. And let's see how it goes. Thank you. I will see you soon. I have enjoyed this video myself. I don't know about you. I might make a mistake in the, you know, reading it. I'm not a good reader. So take it as it comes. And the way it is, I don't think I can post it for you. God bless you all. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>